thank you so much for being with us today. We are excited to tell our audience about opportunities that they, as active duty military, can take to transition into civilian life and roles in commercial real estate. So I understand that you took that path, Elena, and thank you for being here with us. And let me tell you all something. I'm so excited to speak with this woman. And I first want to take the time to thank her for her military service. It is because of her that we have this wonderful country and all of you who are, who are veterans and serve in our military. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. So I'd like to ask you now, you came into uh, your current role through a program called SkillBridge. Is that right? That's correct. Hmm, interesting. And let's tell you, tell me about your current role. So I am currently a facilities coordinator for one of the many accounts that JLL has. Um, when people think of JLL, they think of commercial real estate and investments, but JLL also provides services to companies to assist in their day-to-day -day operations. One of those services being facilities management, where we help our clients streamline their needs from building maintenance to event planning to project management so they can focus on their company's goals. So how did you find that role? Tell me, how did you get into it? So I was browsing one day on um, the SkillBridge website and I was looking in San Diego specifically and JLL just happened to be one of those um, roles that popped up and uh, looked very interesting. So I decided to contact Kara Roundtree, who is excellent, by the way. She's the one that helped set everything up. Um, and yeah, that's how I um, found the role. How did JLL's SkillBridge program play a part in your career path? So JLL's SkillBridge program provided me the opportunity to see an industry I've never been exposed to before. Um, mm -hmm. Facilities management isn't really a well-known field or career path, you know, people don't grow right. up saying one day I want to be a facilities manager or coordinator. Um, and I have a bachelor's degree in psychology. So it's not a area that I've ever envisioned myself in. Um, but in large part, it's because I wasn't aware that it even existed. So uh, with that being said, it is an exciting career path that gives you um, insight into so many other fields because you're collaborating with just about every other industry. Isn't that exciting though? And you said something key, Elena, which we have been touching on repeatedly. Commercial real estate is just not an industry you hear about as a career path. You think about doctor, lawyer, dentist, marketing, some things, but you don't hear about commercial real estate. And there are so many opportunities that one could take within this field. And so I'm so happy that you, you know, have been bought this out, that you can off even transition from the military into commercial real estate. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So tell me, what is it about your job that gets you out of bed every day? So it's definitely the people that I work with. Um, they create a culture that makes me look forward to going into work. Um, and with the diversity and inclusion that the company promotes, um, I think it's a huge part of that culture. Yes, it is. And I'm glad you mentioned that because JLL has made a huge, huge, huge stride in the last, uh, I don't know, at least five years in diversity and inclusion. So I'm so excited to have that and be in a company that promotes diversity and inclusion, especially for both of us, right? <laughs> see, I've never, I haven't been with the company for very long. So I, I'm like looking forward to see how much further it'll go. Oh my goodness. You know, we all are. We're excited about it. We're excited about the world and globalization. And uh, we're at a great con company to experience it. Okay. So tell me, how does your military experience prepare you for this civilian role? I guess it helped me learn how to work with a diverse group of individuals all from different parts of the globe and with different personalities in order to work towards the same mission. Um, I currently at this role work with people from, you know, um, Costa Rica and, you know, the Asian market. So you know, wow. everyone's being brought together. That is fancy. And so, wow. So you, I, yeah. <laughs> I can't even imagine you go from serving in one way and then you bring that experience over with you to serve in another way to serve clients through their commercial real estate. And I'm sure your ability to work with diverse people 
that you learned while you were in the military has strategically made you um, an accessory or sorry, not an accessory, but you are, <laughs> has made you a, um, an awesome team member in working with diverse people. So I'm so glad you've made this transition. So Elena, what does your average day look like? So uh, my average day starts out with, you know, walking the facilities, ensuring the equipment is up and running, like, uh, you know, the HVAC, HVAC for the um, IDF room. Um, most importantly, the coffee, because everyone has to have their coffee. <laughs> and then I uh, check um, Carigo for any work orders that are coming through my pipeline, um, as well as emails, and to see if there are any projects um, that anyone needs my assistance with. Um, the rest of the day, I'm working with, um, sorry, the rest of the day, I'm working on those projects um, uh, and providing customer service to ensure our clients' needs are met. That is a big, big, big thing. So not only did you serve as active duty military, helping our um, our country to have its needs met, we all get to have our freedom because of your service and other veterans. Now you are serving clients and getting their needs met and attending to their needs every day. That's a great transition point. What would you say to someone who is considering the Skill Bridge program that JLL offers? I would highly recommend applying for the program. There's so many positions um, you can intern in from technicians specializing in uh, the electrical, HVAC, to administrative support, to like a financial analyst. Um, and from my experience, I didn't have to have experience in the area in order to apply because they're the ones that gave me the training that I needed for the job during my internship. Um, and funny. it could possibly even roll into a full-time position afterwards. So highly recommend applying for the JLL SkillBridge program. Now, you mentioned earlier that there were no specific skills that you had to have to join the Skill Bridge program and get to go through this process with JLL. However, now that you have taken on the role of facilities coordinator, what skills do you think would be beneficial for someone who wanted to have a similar role? For this role, you'll definitely need the ability to multitask um, as there are times when you've got multiple projects um, and office events happening all at the same time. Um, you'll also need to be familiar with like Microsoft Office Suite, like Outlook and Word, uh, as well as virtual communication platforms like Zoom, um, Teams, Slack, um, and also have excellent interpersonal skills. Um, that is a must since you're dealing with customer service. So Elena, where do you go from here? What's next? Well, I was lucky enough to roll into a full-time position um, after my skill bridge program. Congratulations. <laughs> so, you know, I'm planning on taking a uh, full advantage of the professional development uh, programs that JLL has to offer and learn as much as I can about the industry before, you know, climbing the proverbial corporate ladder. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so JLL is a great and giant corporation with only nine, over 90,000 people working to serve clients every day in various ways in the field of commercial real estate. So if you have an interest in anything having to do with real estate, look us up, take a look at other videos and other videos that I have on my YouTube channel that'll tell you about commercial real estate, some of the careers there and the skills you need to enter. And again, check out the Skills Bridge program. Again, JLL is looking for you to grow you and your career. Thank you so much, Elena, for being with us. It has been such a pleasure to speak with you. Again, thank you for your military service and good luck. Thank you again, Trish.